what causes spinal infection and can it be treated without surgery? Spinal infection is most commonly caused by tuberculosis. At least in country like India, we come across TB as the most common cause of spinal infection. The other common cause of spinal infection is pyogenic which is caused by bacteria other than TB and the most common is Staphylococcus aureus. Spinal infection can also be caused by fungus. If there is infection in the spine, these patients usually present with localized severe back pain depending on which area of the spine is involved. It can be in the neck, upper back, middle or lower back. This pain usually aggravates when the patient is resting especially in the night when we sleep the muscles are relaxed in this position there can be relative motion at the level of infection which can cause pain in that particular region if the infection progresses to press on the nerves patients can also experience weakness in their legs or reduced sensation or difficulty to control bowel and bladder. So if the pain is not responding to routine medications then we investigate these patients with MRI scan and if there is likely finding of infection or any activity in the disc space that is also causing some soft tissue collection or formation of pus or abscess. We investigate this further with the help of biopsy and send the samples to the lab to know which organism is growing or what is this growth. If the biopsy or histopathology or microbiology report confirms that this is a TB organism or tuberculosis, then we start the patient on anti-tuberculous treatment which can last up to 9 months to 1 year and after completion of the course of anti-tuberculous treatment, these patients can get back to pretty much their baseline and can completely be cured of infection. If this is a pyogenic or other bacterial infection, these patients need antibiotic treatments which approximately can last for about 6 weeks in which 3 weeks is IV and 3 weeks is oral. Very rarely the infection can be due to fungus and this is treated with antifungal treatment which can last for months. So if the infection is picked up in early stages where there is no pressure on the spinal cord and the sensation, movement and control on bowel and bladder is intact, these patients can be treated with medications alone. If there is progression to an extent that vertebral bodies are destroyed, there is pressure on the spinal cord, the patient is lost power in the legs and movement along with sensation in bowel and bladder, these patients need urgent surgery in the form of decompression of the spinal cord with or without addition of screws and rods. So it is very important that the infection is picked up at early stages, diagnosed properly and treated based on the sensitivity of the organism. If you have any questions related to spinal infection then please do not hesitate to contact us on the number given below or you can also mention in the comment section or whatsapp us on the same number and we'll try our best to give it back with answers. If you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much.